morning welcome back to my channel this is azzy or soulfully naomi and i am here excuse the background um with my little one again if you guys don't like kid sounds kids in the background kids of any type probably shouldn't watch this um i have a one-year-old almost one and a half well one and a half year old and so she's pretty active she's pretty busy and she makes a lot of noise so i'm here today I just threw my hair up in a bun um, packaging some things to ship it's kind of a check out a new sourcing spot with me slash vlog slash thrift with me slash whatever come along and see my day so if you're interested come on along and join me we'd love to have you we're just gonna go ahead and check out the day and see what we find just a little bit of background on me i do resell on the ebay poshmark platform for a living and i want to show you guys the finds i get now i live in a you know medium large city um not a lot of style you're not gonna find some of these amazing like denver like la halls even though i will travel uh, to thrift but i live in a uh, area in texas it's not too too trendy but there's still finds to be found if that makes sense there's still things that you can flip for resale and there's still good opportunities if you look hard enough so i'm just here to show everyone you know how to do it kind of things I look for. I've been doing it almost two years and I love it. And I'm just going to show you guys kind of what I find um, and kind of like what I do in a typical day. It's not so typical because I do, again, have a toddler. She's eating. She's at my feet right now. So a couple things I do in the morning. I get up early right for, before she's even up and I start working on packaging. I start working on emails. I start working on uh, listing, photographing, just anything I can do in my um, her downtime where I can get everything done so first things i'm gonna do is um finish feeding her i already ate and i'm already dressed just in some like nike casual wear i just wear like athleisure guys and moms know it's it's hard out here um and then i'm gonna just show you like some things i'm gonna ship this morning because it is friday morning i want to get a leg up on that i usually ship fridays and so, uh, mondays so saturdays if i can but i try not to work on saturday at all up to a new spot just open this week I mean it's been open I already scoped it out but it just open to the public officially grand opening a few days ago so let's see if it's too packed got her with me she's due for a nap so we'll see how that goes and just
Lululemon I've ever seen. They're like all seeing eyes, but then they have like the Lululemon sign, and I mean it's Lulu. So, excuse my nails, y'all, but I'm definitely gonna see what these are about and do some research. What do y'all think? Um, so far, just getting stuff and putting some stuff back. I'm gonna put the foot joy back just because the comps are all over the place. Um, so many rocks to go, but I'm gonna keep looking and see how far we can make it before this one completely already had a meltdown, but it has another meltdown. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Let me put some glue in it. Uh oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. One breakdown later. I am still looking. I'm kind of getting tired. I have you made to dresses. Like, it might be a wrap. I see something peeking in the middle though. You guys can see. Okay, so hey guys, we are back. She has yet to fall asleep, but we're waiting on it, okay? We're praying on it. She is getting eyes heavy. So hopefully she'll be taking her nap. She usually has one at 11 to noon. It's uh, almost four o'clock. So anyways, we were in there way too long. Um, again, that is a new Goodwill location that just opened up. Never, I had been there once, didn't know what to expect. And from what I saw, I will say this, there was good um, new like styles, which Goodwill you know, usually has newer styles versus like your Salvation Army or your like kind of one-off thrift stores. So they did have a lot of new styles. I did see some new tags. The brands though were okay. I did end up getting um, a couple of things, which y'all saw. Um, the shoes were actually good, but the comps were just too iffy for me. I'm extremely picky. Obviously do what works for you in your business model. But for me, I'm really, really, really picky. Excuse my hair, y'all. I look a mess. I'm at the car wash waiting for my car to be washed because it is horribly horribly dusty and dirty anyway so i did end up taking away the five dollar lululemon eye shorts apparently these are called the seaweeds um lulu whenever they have a lulu sign with something special around it now i know the 2018 2019 i saw like a specific pair of like watercolor leggings they were selling like two th like 150 200 dollars insane guys insane now these i didn't find any comps for these so that's really tricky i did take some pictures of them just to see if like my instagram soulful underscore chic underscore finds people know anything about these but they're lined with pink um it's got like the little run and i found um on lulu fanatics which lulufanatics.com has like a catalog of all the lulu lemons brands that have ever come out styles and things like that i almost 90 percent of the time find them on that so I got those. I also got Lululemon size four, same person, I guess, um, skirt, squirt. And then I got a 511 tactical shirt. Now the comps are all over the place, but they were really strong, 2530 for the newer styles, anything new with tags. This is like one of these like moisture wicking. I can't even show it to you. It looks so nice in person, like brand new. So I'm gonna take a chance on that for $5. Um, normally I don't like to pay up for too much. I do see their pants a lot, 511 Tactical. It's like 511 Tactical and there's a store here in Texas, a couple of them, um, but I don't really try to um, get them a lot. It, it had potential, so it's definitely a rotation Google. I can stop in maybe, maybe once a week. I would say probably closer to twice a month because the places I go, unfortunately because the time, i.e. that one, doesn't allow for me to just be able to just endlessly look for hours and come up empty-handed I just don't have the time especially when I have certain places that are faithful it's my turn I'm gonna creep into this car wash right now guys um, I'm gonna stop right here but we did pretty well with those three items um, I should net I think 30 for the skirt I don't know about the seaweeds
want her a book or a toy. I'll give her a toy to play with because she's got toys. Isn't that cool, Mama? My car was so dirty, guys. Oh, I can just feel the clean. You know when you get your car clean and you just, oh, you just feel better about life. You just, you're rolling out, you, you're crispy, you're clean, you know what I mean? Fresh to death. I used to keep my car on point. Y'all, this baby, I'll be lucky if I can, and I have a dark colored car. I'd be lucky if I can even get it together. You guys like more vlogs, thrift with me, haul, all three? Y'all let us know. All right, well with that being said, we're signing off. I'll come to y'all later just to show y'all what we end up doing. Okay, y'all, she finally, finally went to sleep. So anyways, that was everything I got. We just pull up to a friend's house. We're gonna have some just quality time. She gets to play a little bit. So this is just a continuation of the kind of thrift with me day. I'm, I'm home now, it's late evening. Don't have the baby with me. No outside noise, thank gosh. And I just wanted to kind of recap. Um, I have all of my finds here. So I actually made another stop this evening. I did stop at one of my honey holes or just like a spot where I've consistently been able to find good things. Um, it is a Goodwill thrift center. That's where people donate their items. This location always just has really good gems. It's gonna be hit or miss anytime you go thrifting. Um, if you guys are new to that scene, but you can guarantee if you see a consistent flow um, of good items or certain brands that are more sought after in one location and it's consistent, going back and back and you find, you know, good things, definitely make it part of your routine, make it part of your rotation as I call it. I literally rotate around different locations. If I'm in that area already, or if I say, okay, you know what, I haven't been to this area, let me just go check it out, I'll do that and usually, it's it's a good payoff i had more focus baby free it, you just really can't get anything done i mean i'm gonna be honest you really you know the baby she was trying to leave and move and squirm and luckily i did find some good things um uh, as i showed you guys earlier but it was still a, a fight I ended up picking up was this mave anthropology dress it's cute it's size small kind of like a pencil dress so cute uh i looked up like may floral dress anthropology and literally on the first page was one of these um with tons of likes selling for not selling but on posted for 85 on poshmark I mean, with spring coming up it's practically new i don't see any flaws with it um i'm definitely gonna list that so i went in the store i went in the men's section i have just been loving men's stuff lately i've been getting good things um really just picking through the shorts really looking through the jeans it's kind of hard because sometimes the men's size tag is like in the hip it's kind of awkward you know you're trying to look through it versus the woman's tag is like right there when you flip um through the racks so anyway i just saw this um i've known about this brand willis and geiger i know it's high end but this is like it's called a safari jacket with the belt it literally looks crisp new like someone maybe wore it once or twice and guys i looked up comps this cost me I literally saw the price tag, you know, and I saw comps into the 120s. Of course, you guys already know the shorts I showed you are the Lululemon shorts. So update, I did actually photograph and post these. This is called the Seaweeds because they're a certain kind of Lululemon. They've already sold for $91. So these are going to their new home. I am so excited. I put them on auction with an option to buy it now at $80, like just flat. Someone bought it. So these are really sought after guys. Get these if you can. Um, that's from the 2014 collection and I put that in the title as well. And then this skirt I'm gonna list too. So I already showed you all that. Better view, see, it's really nice. It's literally like moisture wicking, wicking. It's got the zippers. It's probably like a fish shirt or something outdoorsy. So I got these in this evening haul, Lucky Brand. So these are booties. They do probably need a little bit of um, shoe cream. I have been finding Lucky a lot, even some of the newer Lucky, but it's usually priced, you know, 10 and up. So I got these for seven. Next up is this Vince turtleneck. I'm gonna post this. I'm posting things as soon as I get them, guys, if I can. This is like excellent. Looks like someone maybe wore it once, um, but these are sought after. Comps on Poshmark were, were decent, but I saw on eBay they were, you know, 40 best offer 45 best offer took so i'm definitely gonna list that on both platforms and then i picked up a new to me brand i always try to pick up at least one 
that has good comps. The comps are really good. They were all over the place, but they were still good, like all over 30, 20, 30, up to 70. Um, but this has definitely been maybe washed a couple times, but it's super chic. Like I want to wear this tonight. Like I want to wear this. If it was shorter, if it didn't go to my knees, guys, I would be wearing this tonight. I love this print. And that is by Carvin. Never heard of it before, but comps were really good. With the baby earlier, I forgot to put it in my day. Um, I end up picking up just some Madewell new tag uh, for $8, like velvet crop pants. These I'll probably put <clears throat> away until the fall. They had a whole bunch of them, just a Madewell dump, but I've been to a couple Marshalls and TJ Maxx and I haven't seen these pants. So I'm thinking it may just be my location. Last but not least, um, I stopped by my friend's house as I told you guys, spent some time. She had a family member that no longer needed these shoes. So she told me a few months back that she had some shoes and I was like, okay, cool, what, what's the brand? And like she butchered them. And I was like, wait, are they like, of course there's some high-end designer brand she knows nothing about. So I said, okay, you know what? Those are really high-end. I looked at cons, they were kind of like, middle ground i was like okay well we'll worry about it later so i was finally there we're literally in her closet she was like here here's the shoes i was talking about and i was like yes i looked up comps literally found a comp for about 90 dollars. i think we can go for 100 so we're gonna do a split so this is my first consignment piece and this is again part of my day so i want to show you guys this is called manolo blonic these heels so these are women's 38 size 8 classy now they're known for their like jeweled heels. Ooh, almost dropped. Jeweled heels, but guys, these, these still sold pretty great. And I mean, they're literally like, can you see? She did wear them, but I mean, I don't even see any flaws really. So none, just to see because some of their signature styles were going up to the 300s. This is a very high-end designer. So if you ever see this Manolo Blahnik, definitely pick it up. So. I'll let y'all know how my first consignment goes. We're gonna do a split. I haven't decided what split yet. I'm thinking more of a 60-40, just gonna see what model works for me. I'm gonna start doing some closet concierge, coming to people, cleaning out their closets, kind of giving them one-on-one -on -one special um, kind of assistance and going through the closets that they no longer need. And then hopefully we can work out then a deal of the things they don't want. And you know, whatever business model works for you, do it. I'm gonna try something new. I wanna think outside the box. I want to have things come to me, you know, unfortunately with donations and things like that, um, even the state sales, <clears throat> you, you do have a lot of competition. I feel like there's enough for everyone, but there's also ways to look out and think outside the box. Like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching and your support. And, you know, I see people are liking and subscribing each day. And I'm just so thankful that I could add some value. And if you have tips or tricks, or anything you just want to comment go ahead and like and share and comment below <laughs> like share comment i feel like a robot when i said that um and if you guys want to know kind of what happens to these or how my consignment works out you know follow the journey and i'll definitely be able to share so with that being said thank you so much and have a wonderful night